Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the center of buoyancy. I know I mentioned it in a couple of the previous videos, but this time we're going to get into it a little bit more. Center of buoyancy uh, is like the concept of center of gravity, which I had also mentioned previously. Center of buoyancy is the center, center of all the water you're displacing. If all that water that you moved out of the way to make room for your boat were concentrated into one point, where would it be? Well, it's simply in the middle of all that stuff. Well, how do you find it? Let's assume you know the shape of your boat at this point in the process. I never did, but let's assume you do. If you're just using, let's call it just a straight box. Well, the center of a, any sort of rectangular prismatic shape is right at its center, which is half of all the dimensions. Well, the center of your box, let's assume it's empty still, the center of your box is exactly in the center of the box. Well, now the center of buoyancy is not going to be in the center of that box, because if it were, that would mean the water line is at the top of your box and, well, you're sunk. So, the center of buoyancy of the water here is going to be in the center of this imaginary box that the water displaced, which in our example here is lower than where the center of the actual box is. If you drew diagonals, well, there's the center of the box, and if you drew diagonals from the water line to the bottom, the center of buoyancy is there. Simply, to find the centroid of anything, uh, the center of gravity, center of buoyancy, it's the sum of the moments over the sum of the masses, which moment is a force times a distance, which is also the same thing as a torque, but over here, if you have a triangle section, the centroid of any triangle shape is simply the uh, one-third of the height of your triangle, and that's measured from the, the base of the triangle, which is the wider portion. In our case, the base is actually the top because our triangle here is upside down. Uh, that would also be the case if you wanted to segment this, but since it's a standard triangle that way, we can go ahead and use this. Uh... So, the triangle centroid, if we drew a line across the top of our uh, boat shape here, it's going to be one-third the distance from this, it has to be the base up here, it's one-third the distance down from the base. The same thing with the center of buoyancy in our case. We draw an imaginary line across the water line, that is our base of our triangle, we come down one-third the distance that's remaining, and there's the center of buoyancy there. So, finding center of buoyancy is exactly like finding center of gravity. Once you know your whole shape, you can figure out where the center of all the waters is, and add them all up, and then divide by the total mass, and you're good. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead now, set up an example, we'll work it, and show you how this actually all plays out. 